I'm gonna give him some privacy now. Nature's so amazing. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Savannah and it's time for the next vlog. Today we're gonna go on a road trip! Road trip! We're gonna go way down to South Florida to see a good friend of Gatorlands and a good friend of mine. His name is Fred Grunwald and he's quite the Florida legend. He's been taking care of alligators, crocodiles, caiman snakes, turtles ever since he was 12 years old. And that's a really long time. So Gatorland's always looking for exciting people and exciting projects to work on. So we're gonna go see Fred. Oh, and I almost forgot. The main reason we're going to see Fred is because we're gonna help Fred do some things around his house. And you'll never believe it. It's just in a backyard in Florida because Florida's so amazing. And we're gonna help Fred pull Burmese python eggs. Burmese pythons are invasive in South Florida, but these Burmese pythons are albino Burmese pythons. They belong to Fred Grunwald. He's been keeping reptiles his whole entire life. And he has this gigantic clutch of Burmese python eggs. And we're gonna go help him get those eggs so that he can incubate them. And you'll see, you'll hey, see. Hey, Fred, I love you. How hi, are you? Too. Say hi to everyone, Fred. Hi, I'm glad you caught me. I'm looking so nice and neat and everything, man. You nice. Are. Yeah. Fred, well, you, you had cancer, how long ago was that? Uh, it was like over 25 years ago. And how long were you supposed to live? Uh, six months. And you made six yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's a, and you, the, a, nobody expected that, huh? I uh, know. Even you? Not even me. And you know, they told me that we're going to treat you so bad that if the cancer don't kill you, we will. The treat, yeah, the cure yeah. will. So next thing you know, about six months later, I'm getting better. Good. So I'm like, well, I have to a minute now. I done spent most of my retirement. <laughs> you drained your 401k. Plan, planned on fishing <laughs> for six months. And now that you're getting better, I said, no, I know, I don't want to get better right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun. Spent all your life saving six months, that's right. all you got to live, and now 26 right. later, you're just, 26 years later, you're just but, having to sell reptiles to get by. Right, huh? yeah. I caught so much laser radiation, I caught so much damage in my throat, and my, you know, I lost my teeth, I lost most of my throat, my carotid arteries. So therefore, as many of you may have noticed, I can't talk. You know? Um, I try, but... We, we speak Fred. Uh, we yeah. speak fluent Fred. Thank we you. get it. People say I speak uh, bushies. That may be true, but... <laughs> that's, in, but uh, that's in the beer bush. So, bushies. Um, but the thing is, now, you know, it's all like bonus time to me. I shouldn't be happier. Every day. My wife is, is also a survivor. And uh, you know what? I, I just have too much to be thankful for. And then they have friends like you guys. Well to come over and visit me. That's why we come live with you, man. On, you, man. Lo you love life, you're exactly. a great friend. Now let's go see some of Fred's cool animals and we're gonna start by sexing a snake. I'm gonna keep the bite in a little That's bit away nice. from you. <laughs> it's a male? Right, it's a male. Oh, no bites, yay! No bites. Good job, Loma. Right. He looks beautiful. Yeah, he does. And so these spectacle caiman are wild invasive in South Florida, right? There are a couple of populations down south in the Hemisphere and uh, South Miami area. I'm not sure the history. I know he came in from Washington State years ago. Uh, somebody brought him over to me. And uh, he has turned out to be my best, friendliest, uh, tamest uh, sisera. I've been finding that all animals like butt scratchers nowadays. Yeah, uh, but I don't know why she's not wiggling. Uh, smooth hunt came in? No. You don't, huh? Uh -uh. How about the uh, dwarfs? No, well, we have an African dwarf crocodile, no dwarf uh, came in, and we have a yukari, and two spectacle. Three spectacle. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, wow, he looks amazing, Fred. Yeah, he's really true. Got him. Whoa! Dang, Fred! Oh my God, I oh. cannot believe how big this oh. is. Dang, Fred, you're a wild man. Whoa! Oh. Are these, how oh. old is, so He's gonna were, eat you. There were three of them, right, Fred? Yeah. I remember when they were babies. What? And when I got them, they held the same size. So this one is a smooth front. Yes. So that's is, Schneider's, right? Right, uh, Pedocitus trigonatus. And they get about, you know, they get five to six feet. 
What do you think about that? Wow, look at his eyes. Look at those eyes. Very secretive. Wow. Um, they stay in the shade. They stay in real shaded ponds and summers and creeks. Uh, they live in burrows. Almost like um, oh, dwarf beautiful. crocodiles. They he's have very beautiful. similar habits. We don't see them at all during the day. Okay. You did good. Whoop. Okay, Fred. So you're a Florida legend. Tell us what. Tell us how long you've been working with reptiles and why. Uh, probably about 12. Uh, since I was about 12 years old. What really got me started is uh, my dad brought me a baby caiman. Probably when I was about 12 years old, I lived in Miami. And I had that caiman 25 years. Wow. And ever since that that time, my interest just grew and grew and grew and spread out to other reptiles. And now it's, I'm a maniac for all reptiles. What was your caiman's name? Leroy. Leroy, and he lived with you for 25 years? Yeah, in fact, if you look in the National Audubon Field Guide to the reptiles and amphibians of the South Eastern United States, you will see Leroy. Leroy! In my backyard uh, when that, for that identification picture. I'm gonna put a picture up right now so you guys can see exactly what Fred's talking about. Yeah, I, I have it in there. Okay. <laughs> That's my backyard. I took that picture. That's Leroy. And uh, what book is that in? This is the uh, Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Reptiles and Amphibians. All right. So that's my Leroy, and that is my American crocodile that's sitting on the nest out there. That's it when it was a hatching. Oh, wow. wow. What kind of fish is this, Fred? <laughs> that is a giant gravami, and it's an albino. Uh -huh. um, I think it's about five or six years old, another rescue. They're actually Southeast Asia, and they eat them there like we eat tilapia here. Whoa! Um, and uh, so it's just an albino, and I have a really weird rough kind of a skin. Um, they're really cool. So Fred loves alligators, and you know we love alligators here at Gatorland. Let's check out some training that Fred's been doing with his alligator. That's a good hold. Hold? <laughs> that was great, Brad! That was awesome, hey, buddy! Hey! Hey, you! Wow, that looks so dangerous, but it's not. <laughs> Oh, no wonder. Also, like toad yeah. Where's that from? These are South American. They're uh, actually, the, uh, some people call them gibber turtles. It's a toad head. Oh, there you go. Come on, put that. That's a snake neck turtle. Do your thing. Do your thing. There we go. Look at that. You gotta love somebody that not only survived cancer, but rescues animals. Here's some more Fred. Probably half the animals I have here, I had no intention on getting. So I also had no idea how to take care of them. But thanks to the um, social media and the internet, you know, all that information is out there. And some of that you can even believe. <laughs> so so, uh, so I can get by with, with the information I find, but um, I kind of enjoy getting something that I never had. Right? Because I get to learn new stuff. So, it, it's always fun. Yeah, I keep it fun. Some of it you can believe. Some of it you believe, yeah. <laughs> hey! What you doing? Come on! Come on! Hey guys! What you doing? Oh! Got this Burmese python that's laid these eggs. They're gonna reach inside and try and, and get these eggs. We're gonna collect them and incubate them. This is the skull. That's the teeth they have in their mouth. You didn't realize they had those kind of teeth in their mouth. So Fred is a reptile enthusiast. We're gonna see how enthusiastic he is when she grabs hold of his hand trying to take those <laughs> eggs out of there. This is exciting. Come watch this. She's a dog. Happy. What's 
Are you expecting? I'm not getting that close. You take it to it. Now she has raised her body temperature up to about 90. I, I uh, used a temp gun on her earlier and she was at 90 degrees. And if you see right in there, there's an egg. Now, I've never uh, attempted to take eggs from her before, but we're gonna give it a try. Yeah. Try to be. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. And they're stuck pretty good. Don't turn them in. Nope. Them in. Oh, oh, that one's rolling. Take that one. Which one? That one right there. Oh my gosh. So we'll put them in here, just like the crocodile egg vlogs we've done. We'll put them just like they came out. These are kind of stuck together. These aren't like crocodile eggs. They feel leathery. So we're gonna leave them stuck together like that and we'll just put them as close as we can. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Hang on, let me grab that part. Okay. Okay. Uh, more eggs than I thought. I see wow. a slug here. Slug. We can feed that to the monitors. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a slug. Yeah. That's a lot of eggs. She's being really good though. I just know you guys want to learn a little bit about alligator snapping turtles. Savannah. Oh, I'm gonna get this. What are you doing? You're gonna get, get eaten. Oh, Look man. at him. Step out here in the sun a little bit. Oh, can you see him? Oh, wow. Isn't he cool? Look at that. 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 Look at and, uh, and other things into there, and once they get in there, he chomps them. Whoa, he's big, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, his name is Archie Pritchard. Whoa. Archie Pritchard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he looks like an Archie. He's That's amazing. Whoa. He's still a baby. Yeah, how old is he, Fred? Uh, he's about uh, 13, 14. Wow. And um, not quite, probably not quite big enough to be a breeder yet, but. It's a male, so he's a lot bigger than that. Female Dang. Can okay, you see the lure in there? Yeah. Uh, Isn't that crazy? Wow. Does that lure have a fancy name? Uh, if it does, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's it right down that pink point, right down there. Yeah. The bottom. yeah don't yeah. let him get my phone. Oh, no. That would be the death of your phone. I know. Well, my phone did get bit by a really big alligator before, and it held up, so. I have a lot of faith in that phone. Wow, I don't know. What that. we got in here? Uh, we got snaggle tooth and we got tail. Snaggle tooth is the male right here. Hey, my girl. She's a pretty alligator. How old is she? Uh, she's not 20. He's so big. Come here. Look at that. Feet <laughs> <laughs> right there. there. Wow! Nice feet. Well, that was, my, that was my phone. That was a good hit. Oh, careful, Fred. <laughs> Where's he going? You going in the water, buddy? That's so cool. Did you get that little pop? You're better than that. <laughs> Love this guy. You gotta come see at the Gatorland now, Fred. Uh, I'll be there shortly. All right. Okay, we're gonna hold you to it. All right. Love you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked this vlog, and I hope you learned a little something along the way. Make sure Man, and that check. That was fun. <laughs> I thought that. That was fun. <laughs> did you have fun, Fred? Uh, I have a bad. How many yeah. times a day did we think Fred was gonna get bit? Every <laughs> single second we were out here. <laughs> and again, I didn't get bit. Cause Fred's amazing. You know what he did say? He, Fred did say, "I used to get bit all the time. Then I kind of got tired of it." <laughs> Yeah, I did. Well, we sure do love Fred. Make, I'll put a link to his Facebook in here. If you guys have any questions for him, feel free to write him. He's definitely part of our family here at Gatorland, and so are you. So check that like button, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to, too. We sure do love you guys. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. <laughs>